one of the more important tasks you want to do as part of your SEO work is check how frequently Google is crawling your website. One of the ways that you can do this is via the Crawl Stats Report in Google Search Console. To locate the Crawl Stats Report, you're going to want to scroll down in the sidebar and click on Legacy Tools and Reports. Under Legacy Tools and Reports, click on Learn More, and in the window that appears, search for Crawl Stats, and then click on Crawl Stats Report. From here, you can click on the button to open the Crawl Stats Report. The first thing you'll see on the Crawl Stats Report is a trend graph. On the trend graph, you have three different metrics, total crawl requests, total download size, and average response time. Total crawl requests tells you how many times Google hit your website attempting to access a file. Note that multiple hits to the same URL are reflected in this graph. So, for example, on the busiest day for this website, we're talking about 20, a little over 20 crawl requests. That's not necessarily 20 unique URLs that are crawled, but that is 20 hits that were made on that website server on that particular day from Googlebot. Next, we have total download size. This is measured in bytes. This gives you an idea of how many bytes of information Google is having to download during the crawl of your website. What you want to look for here are any weird spikes that you can't otherwise explain. In this case, we can explain all of these spikes. It makes sense that the total bytes required to load a page increases as more pages are being crawled as we see with the blue and the purple lines basically following the same trend. If your blue line remains flat or about the same, meaning Google's requesting about the same number of pages from your website, but all of a sudden the purple line massively increases, that indicates that some kind of resource on your website is probably really large and you want to dig into that and see what could be going on. Finally, we have average response time. This is measured in milliseconds. The average response time tells you how long it takes, on average, for your server to respond to Googlebot's request for a page of content. Ideally, your average response time can be as fast as possible. In the trend graph, you want to look for any odd spikes, like the one we have here. If you see that kind of spike, you want to dig into it and see what's going on. Maybe a deployment or something about your code was slowing things down on that particular day. Maybe there was a problem with your server, or potentially there was a server outage at that time. Immediately below the trend graph, we have host status. If you click on this, you can view a few more details about the host status. Within details, we can see if Google had any issues fetching our robots.txt file, any issues related to our website's DNS, or any problems connecting to our website server. Within each of these, we can click to view a graph of any failed crawl requests. This example doesn't have any failures. However, if you do see a failure in here, you want to make sure you understand why that failure occurred and what you need to do to prevent that failure from happening again in the future. Now, if we return to the main crawl stats page and we scroll down below the trend graph, we can get more details about how Google is crawling the website we can see the crawl requests broken out by response type. Ideally, the majority of the pages Google is crawling are OK, or status 200. If I click on the response type, I can view details about how Google is crawling pages with that response status code. For example, let's click on 301. Here, I can see how many total crawl requests there were to a page that returns with a 301 response code. I can also see total download size and average response time for pages with this status type. Below the trend graph, I can see example URLs that returned this particular response status code and see the date and time that those pages were last crawled. If I click on that URL, I can view more information about that crawl, including the purpose of that crawl and the bot type used. Back on the main crawl stats page, I can also see crawl stats broken out by file type. That way I can see how many HTML pages Google is crawling, how much time Google is spending crawling JavaScript files or images or CSS on my website. Here again, I can click on any one of these to view details. For example, let's click on JavaScript. 
I can see how many crawl requests there were of a JavaScript file on my website. I can see the total download size, and I can see the average response time. This helps me understand if the problem with response time or the problem with total download size has something to do with JavaScript or other file types. From the main crawl stats page, I can also see crawl stats broken out by crawl purpose. There's two different crawl purposes, either refresh or discovery. Discovery means that this is a new page that Google has found. Google has never crawled this page before. Refresh means Google is returning to a page they already know about to check for a new version or any updates to that page. For established websites, the majority of your content is going to be in refresh status. As with the other breakouts, I can click on this to view details. I can see how many crawl requests there were, four pages that are crawled with a refresh purpose. I can see how many bytes there were for those pages, and I can get an idea of the average response time for these pages. Scrolling down below the trend graph, I can see a list of example URLs that were crawled with a refresh purpose. Finally, from the main crawl stats page, I can also view crawl details broken out by Googlebot type. In the case of this website, the majority of crawls came from Googlebot's smartphone bot. I can click to view details of how frequently this particular bot crawled, the response time for this particular bot, and the total download size for this particular bot, along with viewing the example URLs and the date and time those URLs were crawled. If you have any questions about the Crawl Stats report or need help figuring out problems you find within the Crawl Stats report, please let me know. You can email me at matthew at elementive.com. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe to Elementive's channel. Thank you for watching.